Hello everyone, say hi, say welcome to Vlogmas 2, oh, welcome to Vlogmas 2, Mwah. I love you. Welcome to Vlogmas 2 everyone, how are we all? I am currently getting preparation for um, girlies are out tomorrow with Bly, I am currently just sticking vinyls onto some bags for the stock tomorrow. Hopefully people buy it. Um, I'm really fucking tired. I'm so tired, but got to get the job done. Got to get the job done. I've also got a wee drink over there and some wee mini donuts because I feel like I deserve it. But how cute is my tree? It's like a mix of themes. There's like pinks, golds, clear and um, black because obviously we've got this wee fella here these ones are like silver birch that's a silver birch one those wee ones though guys are range and all the range baubles were two pounds so like that the feather that one that's silver birch that wee poodle silver birch um the range, silver birch, silver birch, the range, I think it's that wee one. That was the range. Those wee ones there were the range as well. Like so many. I love those feathers, all those white ones are silver birch. Um, but yeah, so many gorgeous, gorgeous baubles. And you need a gorgeous girl. Do you need a gorgeous girl? Nee. But we're at season two, episode fifteen, on present break. I'm just like hurry up, man, and get. Oh no, wait! I don't want to ruin it for anyone. I might say I've actually just had to cut something because I said something. But yeah, it's um, quite long. But I've got a lot of bags to finish, so I'm going to get a job done. So I'm up early tomorrow, I'm very tired, but I can't wait to show you this week. This week's a very festive week and I'm very excited. <laughs> for the Club London event. Um, I have on 
a little clubby London sparkling number with some heels and I'm being sensible tonight and I've put on a big coat. Um, I did my own makeup tonight but I got my hair done. You blow dry. Um, I thought it was going to be late because I had to go to the depot for DPD to draw parcels off but I think I'll probably be on time. Hopefully if there's no traffic. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to a wee Christmas night out. And I will try and vlog when I'm there if I don't get too shy. <laughs> Guys, I've got some like butternut squash tart thing, which is like wild for me. Where is it? Butternut squash, this one, which is wild. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying it. And then Molly got. Molly got a wee Yeah, he's Santa's here. How's the dessert? Yeah? What does it look like? <laughs> Molly told me it looks like Patty. Why did she do that to me? Now I can't unsee that. Do you not like Patty? Do I look like No, you do not look like you like Patty. Here's Santa. By the way, guys, how good does he look like a real Santa? <laughs> Oh Jesus guys, I am literally physically, mentally exhausted this week. Um, I managed to get all of the Bly orders out this week and get everything away to everyone and but oh my god was it unbelievably stressful. Stress I have never um, experience before and also I have a whole new respect for people who work in customer service because what's wrong there? You okay? Because it's a hard job. Like really it's a difficult job and they don't and I've created that now like a bit crazy. Um now right, I'm gonna do my skincare of course I would always take my makeup off. I had actually always used to use wipes, right? I say this as I use a wipe. Um, and then I've been going to someone who's been doing my skin and she got me into like using cleansers to take my makeup off. Which I do always do. But I actually can't be fucked getting in there and double cleansing. I just can't. I It takes me ages to get my makeup off. I got a cleanser and I just can't be fucked. So, makeup out tonight. What I'll do is I'll double cleanse in the morning. I know it's not as good because I'm doing a wipe, but I just honestly can't be bothered tonight. I just want to get my skincare on and get in and watch the Harry and Meghan documentary on um, Netflix. But I went for a lovely dinner there. With my mum and dad and my brother to the East End Fox. It's like our local, well, it's not my local anymore, but mum and dad's local. Um, it used to be like a pub and it's now turned into like a pub restaurant and it was actually so nice. It was so handy having that like on our doorstep. So we went there just to celebrate like kind of like girlies are out because obviously that was like my first charity thing and pop up thing. And um, well we knew like last week and this week would be wild so we thought I could go for dinner this week and make it. It was actually really good timing because I got all the orders out today. Like every order was is gone. Um, so it was like a nice wee celebration dinner because my mum and dad have been helping me. I have a brother to be fair, he's been carrying boxes up and down the stair. So it was nice that we got to go for a nice wee meal. Um, These hairbands are shite. I would love a hairband that looked this but with a grip. Um, so I thought I'd run through my skincare because I always get asked and I've updated it. Jesus. Right. So this is now my bag of skincare. Um, something's leaking in it. I can close it. Is that right? No. Um, so in my phone, 
I have from um, Rachel. I'll pop her page up. I'm sure I've popped it up before. Um, my skincare routine. So it's like, I'll turn the brightness down. So it's like, it, that, that looks a lot, that's a lot of steps. She just explains the, what it's for. So basically, my double cleanse obviously didn't do that. So I'm going to go to my lactic acid. So I'm going to just talk you through while I do this. But um, a lot of the stuff in my skincare box isn't actually mega expensive. A lot of it is super affordable brands. Um, so what I will do is I'll list everything I use. If you want like a dedicated skincare and hair care video, like where I like, talk you through the steps of whatever, like what's on my phone, then oh, and I see I'm sending that to shit because my brightness is down. I can't see a fucking thing. Right, so lactic acid. Then I need a hydrating toner. This honestly, I love putting this on. It wakes me up. You know I want to go to sleep, but it's nice and like refreshing. <sighs> Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to go to sleep. I've not been getting good sleeps because I've been so stressed. Like I've been pure waking up in the middle of the night, like panicking that I've slept in, um, and like not. Do, I don't know, like just in case, like like Lee's phone pinged in the middle of the night, and that never wakes me up because like. I'm such a deep sleeper and I woke up here panicking that someone had messaged the Bly page or something like that. <laughs> um, but do you know what? I can actually confidently say that I know and I tried my very best with this collection and I tried my very best to like really deliver the best service and I think I've learned this week that I'm not going to be able to please everyone and not everyone's going to like Bly and not everyone's going to like me. Um, and not everyone's going to speak to you in a nice manner. Um, and I think that's one thing, like, I think, like, I've learned as well, because I've obviously done it myself when you've been frustrated, you've maybe spoke to somebody a bit sharp or a bit quick, but I've definitely learned, like, you need to have respect and, like, people are people, people are humans. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's definitely been a stressful week. Right now I'm going to have this thing. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this. I just, I just follow the instructions. And then um, I hope for the best. But I've took a allergic react. Well not. Well I think I did a allergic reaction. But to my can. It is. I am like a lizard now. So I'm actually in the morning going to go in the bath with this tan remover stuff that I've got that I always swear by but I usually use a scrub but I got the bath stuff this time so I'm going to go in a bath in the morning and take all my tan off and just have a weekend without tan. Um, I am going out tomorrow during the day for lunch in the markets but I'm going to be wrapped up so I don't even need tan. Um, so yeah, um, I love by the way anything that can has this on it so see anything that's got the metal thing on it it makes it goes on like it's always so cold and i love putting this on under my eye oh so the best feeling in the world i can sit and do that all day long so that's that that's that paula's choice which i actually really like now i'm going to talk to you about my moisturizer I, the, uh, the other one of this is in my car, unfortunately. I wonder if I can get any more out of that. Oh. So, I actually, I will be honest, this was a job for me. Um, can you see? It's from the brand, um, it's not focusing, Jesus Christ. Skin Me Plus. So they originally reached out as part of a job um, and I was like, yeah, but for trying it, like I do actually love trying new products and I was like, that would be good. Um, I'm actually going in with the same thing, but it's in a tube version um, just because the other one I have is in the car and I cannot be fucked to go into the car to get it. Um, so I started using it um, and honestly, that is my second little 
thing, what do you call that little amount of that. Um, it's my second product lot that I've had to, I'm going on my third. Um, I love that moisturiser, like love it. It is unreal. And again, this thing is cold. This is what the skincare comes out of. So when I put it on, I wipe it on like that. And it's honestly unbelievable. And like you can see like, so usually the silver things out to here. But obviously I've used that. I love this. If you're trying to get into skincare or you want to try it, it is not expensive. You can actually sign up as a monthly subscription, which even though I did a job for them the first time, I would try it out and then because I loved it, I'm now a monthly subscriber to this and so is my mum. We pay for it now, so I actually do love this and recommend this. So if you're looking for something to try, try this. Um, so I'm not going to put retinol on, I don't think, because my face is a bit funky monkey. So yeah, this is my skincare. I love doing it now. I'm now in a really good routine with it. Um, I seem to have mastered the hair care and now the skincare. The only thing I seem to be really bit bad at is body moisturiser. I just hate the feeling of it on my skin, so I never tend to do it. But I need to start doing it because I'm honestly like a lizard now. It's not, it's not cute. And I always put lip balm on because my lips always get trapped in this weather. Um, what else am I going to show you? I am officially on bio oil for the boobs. Um, I'm actually going to put that on, so I'm going to leave that out. Um, oh. These two products, again, started off as a job. Now, none of this is a job, like, they're not paying me to do YouTube. This was, like, jobs a while back. Um, and it was UK Lash and UK Brow. Um, and, oh, my God, what a difference this has made. Like, I'm not even just saying that. It is honestly game-changing. And I honestly just do it now with my skincare my, and, like, whatever else I'm doing. So, basically, I just apply... This is the last one, so I'll show you me doing it, but I'm going to hold my phone as a mirror. So I basically just go... along my lash line. Like so. That is all you need, one little swipe. It is easy peasy. So I do this at night time with my skincare. And then this is a brow one. And again, same method applies, you just go in and sweep on the products. And my lash and brow girl said to me when I went in last week, she was like, mate, you've got a lot more growth than what I usually have, like above. Um, and my lashes seemed a lot fuller and she was like, you've got loads of your baby lashes growing in. And I honestly think it's since using this stuff. Um, so yeah, I a lot of jobs I've done recently have really benefited me and I've actually really been really happy that I've took them on. Um, so I'm just double checking I've got everything on. Yep, so the only thing I need to add is... <sighs> the boobs. The boobs, the boobs, the boobs, the boobs. The motherfuckers. Don't worry guys, I'm not I'm not gonna expose you to that. Um my bio or well, we just massage it on my tits, that's as simple as that. I'm hoping it will reduce my scarring. Um I wouldn't say my scarring is the worst, but it's noticeable. Um however it has went down, so I'm hoping that over time of just doing this every night. Um, that it will basically kind of I mean I'm never going to go away I'm not naive and I actually don't care because see if I'm being honest guys my babes are never out I don't even look at them myself to be honest so um, this is what I do every night I give my wee babes a wee quick feel as, the, as you do, as you do, eh? Be quite rubber dubbed up. 
Alright, let me label these cut. I need to get my bra back up. I actually need to get new bras again. See the amount of money I've spent in bras, man. I fucking suck it. Um, yeah, that's my skincare done. I've been loving these, by the way, guys, in the morning. If I can get the link to these, I will. They're black charcoal. Um, eye patches. See in the morning. I'll show you in the morning what I look like. Um, but yeah, this is my morning routine. This is my nighttime routine. I do it every night. I swear by it. I do always usually double cleanse, but could I be fucked? No. Um, And then I always put on a silk, sc silk scrunchie really loose and get ready for bed. I'm going to get into bed and watch the Meghan Markle and Harry documentary. I'm really interested in that. Um, what's everyone's views on it? Are, like, are you on side with them, not on side with them? I just, I will be honest, I don't know much about politics and I don't know much about like the royal family. Anything I do know is probably very much not true because I'll only watch the crown. However, I just think if she was bullied, then can you blame her for feeling the way she feels? And to have the world hating her, I think it must be a horrible, horrible way to live. And I can't even imagine how like I would you would feel knowing the world is against you or do you know what I mean? Or blames you for whatever. So, um, that is my view on it. I just think you don't want anyone to feel shit. But I'm looking forward to watching it. So I'm going to go watch it. I also want to go find my dogs and we'll catch up in the morning. Hi. <coughs> my God. Someone in my street's got a Fiat 500 and I've just drove by with a Christmas tree wrapped on the top of it. Um, guys, I am obsessed with Real Housewives. It's taken over my life. I'm up to date on Salt Lake City. I just got up to date on Real House of Miami. <gasps> I really want to talk to you about talk about it to you guys, but I can't. I can't because I don't want to fuck it up in case anyone's not. Oh my god, is across the road had that wee baby? Have they had that wee baby? I'll need to find out. Get a wee present. Hi kids, that filter. Capish. Um right. Did I film a little view over here? Um what was I gonna say guys? I meant to be going to town to do a wee bit of Christmas shopping but phew, that weather man doesn't know whether it wants to snow or sorry we can just put here that put on in the background. Um, I don't really know what the weather wants to do with itself. It's like in between like wanting to snow but too cold for snow, then it's raining, so then it just makes whatever the, the freezing this is turn into ice, and I hate that. Like, I would rather no snow or snow. See, like that icy, oh, where like you're walking like a penguin all the time and you look like a bit of an idiot. That's. What I can't stand. Oh, this one's. Ow. See, so try to get these out sometimes. It's like a mission impossible. That is my favourite thing in the world when you see the curl fall out like that. Um, honestly, guys, where I go for my blow dries, you cannot beat it. Like, there's no better place than David Corbett's. And I always get asked who I go to. Um, so I either get Abigail or Amy, just whoever has availability. That's my two gals that I go between. Um, and I just ask for a bouncy blow dry. So if you're looking to go, then you just basically say to them that you want the blow dry with the brushes, because this is how they do this. So it's like, 
That is as well why I pure love it. Like, nothing it bothers me more than when I go for a blow dry or I book in somewhere for a blow dry and they blast my hair and then tong it and I'm like, my hair's frizzy. Like, that just make I could have done that in the house. Like, see how smooth my hair is? I, I can't do that myself. And that's what they're able to do with the brushes. Fuck, I forgot the wheel. Um, yeah, look, look at how smooth that is. I'm just not um, able to do that on my own. Jesus. I really hope um, Primark has some cute PJs. If I get anything, I'll definitely do a haul when I get home. Um, 100% I will do a haul when I get home. I need to try and get something for my mum's Christmas because I've got my dad in and I've got my mum and dad's joint presents in, but I just need to get my mum something to actually open because all their joint presents are, like, not really, like, openable, if that makes sense. I don't want to what say this in case there's off chance that they watch it. Um, so yeah. But I'll go into Zara or something or like Reese Women or something and get her like a nice wee outfit. She's just so funny. She's a bit like myself. She's funny where sizing and clothes like my mum's tiny. Anyone that knows my mum or see my mum, she's tiny and she honestly like She'll be like, oh, that'll never fit me. I'm like, mum, you're a size eight. Or sometimes a six. I'm like, honestly, get away. She's always like, if you get any clothes that I can borrow, I'm like, mum, I am about 10 sizes bigger than you, man. Like, nothing will fit. She's like, I will fit. And then, like, I see it in, like, one of my jumpers, and honestly, it looks like she's, like, wearing my dad's jumper. And I'm like, mum, it's doing nothing for my confidence. So guys, that's me baby. Thought I'd show you the outfit. So we're going with this wee knitted, knitted dress I've worn it so many times. Uggs, tights, pink coat, pink scarf. I can't actually find my, my coat, my, um, my pink jacket, my scarf, which I would have loved to have worn, but God knows where that is. It'll be up in that monstrosity of a room somewhere. Um, oh, Julie, now you put my earrings on. God, nearly forgot. Hi guys, so I'm just doing the room today. I'm clearing out absolutely everything. Well, I already did that big clear out, remember, my mum and dad, so excuse the state of how I look today, but I look very rough. I only did a couple of drinks last night, well, I had more than a couple, but I'm not like hungover. I just look like I'm hungover. Um, I'm just going through what I got from the PR package. I'm gutted, look. Nails chipped. And you get it fixed. But um, I'm just going to organise this room and the other room so that they're done because. I'm imagining the next couple of weeks are going to be really hectic and busy. So I would like to just like have this be one thing I'm not stressed about. Um, oh, I wonder if that's my mum's colour. Try and give that my mum as a wee gift. I think I will. Um, so I thought I would show you what I'm doing today room wise. And then we'll end the vlog tonight. So I'm going to start the next one tomorrow. Um, and the next one's going to have loads of bacon and like foodie stuff in it. Like, I've got, oh shit, 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 that was a powder, that was powder. Oh no. Oh. So yeah, I'm just, um, next week's going to be like loads of different foodie stuff. How gorgeous is this Nard's cheek palette? 
Um, so there were loads of Christmassy baby cooking things and like bacon and all that. So that'll be a fun one next week. So I'm looking forward to that. What else have I got on next week? Next week I've got the girls night. So like I'm going to show you like my Christmas PJs. I'm going to show you my Christmas outfits for the rest of the Christmas holidays. And what I've got planned basically for the Christmas festi festivities. Um, so I'll quickly show you this room and show you my plan of action. So this is going to be the layout of it. Obviously that will be shut. This is actually going to go to my mum's house because this turns into a bed. Not the best bed in the world, but a bed, which means I can sleep out at my mum, so that's where it's going. And then all there's going to be is a mirror in here. So very minimal, but it's more just for work reasons. So in here I'm going to put... Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to put in here. That's actually still to be confirmed. I can figure out what I'm going to put in here. Um, so here's going to be all my handbags. That's what's going to sit in these shelves. And then up here, I'm just like doing the different shelves and different things. So up here, we've got like fake tan, tan removers, body moisturizers and vitamins. Up this shelf, skincare. So this is like hand creams, my actual skincare that I use every day. So I can just pull that out in and out. That's going to get washed. I just used that this morning. Do not judge. Um, but it's in there for a reason because that's like my eye patches, eye mask. And then that's my wee travel skincare bag. This one's going to be all makeup. So like new makeup brushes. I'm going to put the rest of them in there once they're clean. Liquidy foundations. This will be like just both. Both actually my makeups. And then this is more like shadows and powders. This shelf is hair stuff. So like all my stuff, my pin curls, all my clips, hair a bands then all my tools are going to go in here this one is hair treatments hair products so this one's like my go-to most used this one's like all the plex and treatments and then i'll put all my brushes and combs there and then the bottom one's going to just be like i'll put more bags there like we travel bags travel stuff and books that's going to be that shelf um and then they shut over like so so you won't actually see that clutter that was the whole point why i got those units because i thought it will look that needs cleaned um it will look more neat and tidy basically and then it means when i'm filming jobs and reels i have all this space here basically so yeah it makes this room a whole lot bigger and i love the laminate um have I, showed, have I ever showed you this? So I have a thing for scaring Lee. He's very easily scared. And I bought this. On Amazon. Um, so that I can pop in and out in the darkness. It works quite a lot. Coco's fucking terrified of it, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just like to jump out in the middle of the night in the dark. And give him a fright. So here we are. Guys, I have a serious question to ask. After your piercings, are your ears look at my skin? Oh. Also scrubbed every ounce of my fake tan on. I can't even show you. Like I scrubbed it all. I can't even fucking show you, it doesn't matter. Um I scrubbed everything off with my face, man. It just took such a bad reaction to that tan. I'm actually gutted. Look at the dark circles under my eyes. Jesus Christ. Anyway, are they meant to be this sore? Like, actually agony. And, like, I have clean. I clean them every day with a solution. But they're, they're just agony to touch. Um, yeah, so... That's the update. So once I'm like semi done, I'll show you what it looks like because I'm going to show you the other room because we have, I don't know if you can see that for my shoes. We're trying to have a reductive day. My ears, I really want to take these earrings out. <sighs> Jesus. Guys, so this is like a new wee mirror that I've got. It's actually for the main room, I think, but I've put it 
in here, but I got these new PJs, guys, from Sweet Dreams. So this is where I get always my, this is the place I always get my Christmas PJs from. Well, I get my PJs all year round, but like my Christmas day PJs are always from this brand. And I've got like my initial on them. I've got ones that say like Bear and Coco's mum. Um, but I was going to keep these from Christmas Day, but I actually couldn't tonight. I had to get them on. They're like that nice material. So I think I'm going to wear these to my girls' Christmas night in and get the green ones for Christmas Day. Yeah. We had a wee Chinese for dinner tonight. I'm feeling very. Whenever I eat a Chinese, see, because they use like so much soy sauce, it makes me so puffy. Oh, I think I'm fully allergic. So I don't know if I showed you. So I haven't put all my shoes in it yet. I just put what was in this room and that. So this is like a bookshelf at Ikea and I'm just going to put all my trainers in it. And then my heels will go like underneath the clothes. I still need to sort the clothes in returns. And then I still need to put all them away. Um, but I cleared out all my jewellery as well. This is just washing. That's Lee's bag because he's away to... He's going to yeah, somewhere in Africa to work. Is it Ghana? Guana? I think it's Ghana. Um, Team GP. I don't know what that means. Um, so I got this at uh, um, Silver Birch, guys. How I know, how, look how bad this is. I wore red jammies at a bo boohoo the other day on this and it stained my chair. So that's going to have to get washed. Um, right, yeah, so in here. I put like my little jewellery thing, but well, it's all my sunglasses. I didn't actually know I had that many pairs. Um, like it's some extra jewellery, there's jewellery in there. Um, and this one I'm going to put on my nice pyjamas, so I'm going to buy myself some more. Um, I get sent these ones by Jim Jam, the label. And, and this one's just shite. 